Um, this is off, totally off the subject, but I was reading an article in the paper today, and it, it was headlined, Calls from Jail are Budget Busters. Oh, really? Does that, does it irritate, I mean, they, the people don't pay for their own phone calls. I, I, don't, I don't know don't what imagine. the situation is. I imagine is. they're paid for by the, by the town or city or whoever. It state. sounds like a great thing to put in your notes, and then the next time you have somebody from the county uh, or uh, somebody from the jail, uh, it's a good question. Who pays for that? I, it's, I, I don't know if I'm a crazy person or not, but I don't <laughs> even think people from jail should be making phone calls. <laughs> you know, they shouldn't even have access to a telephone, I don't think, oh. except at certain times. And I know the um, the county jail, when, when we toured that, there were places where they could sit and make phone calls, but they can't just make phone calls all the time. They I don't, I don't can know. make certain types of phone calls, and I just don't think it's right that people, you know, they're supposed to be being punished, and how are they being punished if they're you know, have all the... Well, I know at the present time in the state of New Hampshire, okay, the law says that if you are in solitary confinement in a, in a, a jail, you, you, you can't even have books. You can do nothing. You have nothing. And there's a bill in uh, uh, the legislature coming up that's going to be coming up to allow them to have TV and read and stuff. And so, and that's being uh, presented by a local person here. We have a phone call. Three five okay. seven twelve ninety. Good morning. You're on Talkback. Hi. 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 I was going to say about um, the jail phone calls. They make if they do make phone calls, it's like collect calls that are like really expensive. Uh, I mean, they're really expensive for the recipient of the phone fr- call. From the county jail, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. From, I think it's from any jail. Every jail I've ever heard of. Yeah, it's been that way. It's collect. It's a collect call from the. From oh, okay. the person. But do you right. think they should be able to make phone calls? They're being punished. I mean, well, it's if it's a, I think it's a collect call, but I think it it may, it may they may the city may make money on that phone call. No, actually, the city, a, no, well, the city, the city, city doesn't, doesn't have a public doesn't have a, a telephone system. Doesn't have a public telephone system. But well, I don't know how it the, works. The, the telephone system. I do know it's you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's good well, to thanks know. A lot. Well, okay. thank you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. But I, th- my point was that I just don't think they ought to be allowed to make phone calls. They're yeah. just, you know, if you're being punished, well, I, yeah, that's I, one of the things you shouldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm too strict. Well, it's an interesting situation because there's times maybe when people do need to make phone calls. They need to get phone calls if there's a family situation outside, there's problems or something. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's a very difficult thing to make a quick decision on without knowing all the I facts. Guess, yeah. I guess, I yeah. guess, but I just, um, yeah. I don't know. You know, uh, you, you were, were talk- talking about they right now in solitary confinement. Yeah. I used to wish for solitary confinement so I could get a whole book read. Yeah, and well, <laughs> you, but if you're in a state jail, you can't have a book really? at the present time. No, I didn't not in know this that. state. Now, states, each state's a different, but you can't in this state, and that's my understanding. And you don't have TV, you don't have anything like that, and uh, so, and I know that uh, uh, legislator elect uh, Robertson uh, is proposing a change in that, and so. Maybe he can give you the info on that. Uh. I, I don't know exactly what the what the bill is, but I know that he's proposed that as one of the SRs. And um, so, so they would else. have TV in their jail cells. Yeah, or yeah, or or uh. maybe have time for a, a room they, where they can go. I don't know. Well, I, don't, I know they have a common room yeah. with TVs, but yeah. they the state didn't buy them. They the inmates bought the jails at the local. I, did. At the I, local, I, uh, I don't know the situation. County jail. I, I shouldn't really discuss it. I don't right. know enough about it. Well, I think we'll call Tim Robertson and find out what he's proposing. Okay. So. And we're going to break with some messages. You're listening to Talk Back on the news station, WKBK 1290 AM and 104.1 FM. And we are back on Talk Back. I'm Cynthia Georgina. And I'm Dale Pregent. And our phone number is 357-1290. Good morning. You're on Talk Back. Hello. 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 Uh, I'm calling about the uh, jails that were just discussed. Yes. I guess there was some confusion about the difference between jail and prison. Uh, jail is the local level. It means that people are serving either less than a year on mm-hmm. a misdemeanor conviction or that they are being held until their trial. Um, now, as far as the uh, amenities that people have at the jail, uh, saying that jail is supposed to be punishment and that it should be tough for the people there, I think is 
really not recognizing due process in the United States. Uh, right now at jails, it is very expensive to use the phone, as David, who called in, mentioned. You can call Collect, uh, or you could also pay through your commissary account if you're an inmate, and it's an incredible rate. It's, it's astronomical compared to what you pay if you had a phone line at home. Um, two right. of the, the reasons, the, the philosophies behind in, in, uh, incarceration, one is that it, it's punishment and that it, it's supposed to like rehabilitate the person. And the other theory is that it's used for incapacitation, which means that the person's dangerous and needs to be removed from society because they're a threat to others. Mm -hmm. um, I have a uh, bachelor's degree in criminology, and I was going to be working in uh, law enforcement until uh, when I did my studies in college, I realized that the system was so broken I did not want to get involved with it. The incapacitation idea that people are dangerous and need to be removed from society makes sense. But what uh, prisons and jails are mostly used for now is it's almost like a, an extortion, like if people owe money, if they don't have bail. Like there's so many poor people who are in jail, people who didn't pay uh, speeding tickets and got their license revoked and then thrown in jail for mandatory minimum driving sentences. So uh, I just wanted to say like the idea that it's, it's punishment the people that we have in jails nowadays, I don't think they deserve to be punished. Do you think that happens around here? I, I don't know anyone who's ever, you know, lost their license and and gone to jail for that. It, it I mean, There's I don't many know. Many people in jail. It happen, I don't know if it happens around the country, but, um, you know, I think if you drive again, you know, if you're driving without a license, then that may be a different a different thing. If you, mm -hmm. but I don't know, but I just was curious that, I mean, that would be unfortunate, I think, that, that if people didn't pay well, their fine. Hampshire has some of the strictest driving laws in the country. There are a few other states that have similar laws where if you uh, rack up a number of points, you have a mandatory minimum two years in prison that you'll have to serve. Okay. Just for driving infractions. Well. Is that in New Hampshire? And maybe yeah. they need to be really? more careful how they drive. And, <laughs> But, well, that's true, but people also don't deserve to be thrown in prison for driving either. I mean, that's we're not talking about people threatening anyone's life here. This is just well, if you're driving and you're not driving properly, you certainly can uh, threaten somebody's life. I mean, if you're driving true. down the road and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and driving properly, I mean, what if you? I mean, you can if create you're texting accidents. and driving, yeah, or if, if you create you're accidents, drinking and driving, that sort of thing, that certainly can be you know life threatening to some people in other vehicles or walking along the side of the road or something. But um, I don't know. That's It's interesting. I know. I don't know. But anyway. Well, anyway, thank you for the input. Okay. We appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. 357-1290.